Yes, guys, it's PTTP here. Hello. Um, out in a little village called Bassingbourne. Um, it's just outside Royston. I think it's Hertfordshire. Um, I was just out for a ride today, to be honest. Um, and as I came past, I saw this uh, Bassingbourne barracks. Um, it's just up the road a ways. So yeah, I'm gonna head up there and have a nosy round really. Looks quite interesting. Uh, a bit of signage and that on the entrance. So we're gonna have a look. Um, just a quick one while I'm doing the intro. Uh, if you haven't already seen it, then go check out PTTP's arrest for a section 40D of the Prisons Act 1952. Yeah, so that's what I'm under investigation for. Can't say a lot about it. Um, I'm under strict legal advice not to. But yeah, go check out the video. I'll uh, put a card up right about now. And I will also link the video um, at the end of this one. So you have the option if you don't want to watch this, you can go watch it now. Or you can wait till the end of the video and then go watch it. But please do. Um, huge shout out to the Law and Audits for filming it and being there for support. Make sure to go check out his channel. He's hit 10,000 subs now, which is fantastic news. Good for him. Uh, I'm really happy to see it. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the intro. So until I get where I'm going, I shall leave it there. And I'll see you in a bit. That's an interesting sign there. That sign over there. See if I can get that in uh, better focus. Says entrance to officers mess only. So there you go. New bit of information that I've learned today is that the officers have their own mess from the uh, grunts, shall we call them? Nice big open field. That's the sign that I saw, but well, similar one, but on the other side of the road, which kind of made me pull over. It's highlighted in red. You know it's going to be military. So already as I'm walking up, I see this uh, blue car pulled up at the side of the road. Oh, pulling off now. Interesting. See now, just the way that that's all fenced off over there. I would say that that is uh, part of the barracks, but I can't seem to see any signage indicating that. That white sign just says Cardiff Place. That just gives like a little layout of the area. But there's nothing there that says MOD property keep out, which makes me wonder, you know, is it? Or did it used to be, and that's why it's like that, but it's no longer. So those, that like uh, pedestrian access point, uh, looks like there used to be a gate there, or if there is a gate there, it's wide open. Yeah, so this is the sign that I saw that, um, as I was driving past it. I was like, is this just a barracks or do they do other stuff here? Because the Mission Ready Training Centre. Uh, so we've got Collective Training Group. If 
anybody knows what that emblem means, let me know. It is something that I've seen elsewhere. But, but yeah, so this is sort of like the, the main entrance there to, to the barracks. Uh, so, there's a sign here that says this property is patrolled by armed guards. As you can see, it's all like razor wired, barbed wired, sorry. Different thing from razor wire, isn't it? Um, but yeah, you can't really see a lot. You've got a CCTV warning sign. You've got a sign that says stop, checkpoint, headlights off, all ID cards and access passes to be shown. And the white sign on the sort of A-frame thing is a no smoking sign is pretty interesting so I think I've been spotted by the gateman oh he just had a little trip out of there um, interesting uh, so we get a little cam back <laughs> love it Yeah, so it's not a huge amount that you can really see from here. It's just this, really. But, oh, so there is a sign uh, inside there. Can't really read it from there. So it says, uh, no photographs are to be taken without Bassingham Bourne Barracks, without prior approval from the head of establishment but it does state within so it's an interesting one good afternoon hey um, i appreciate you're allowed to film sure but, but you're within the boundary of the camp where where, where does your property start the boundary to the camp is for these two concrete pillars okay in a line across is that is that your official property line is it, it? Is the line. okay i'll look it up on google but because uh, you know it's, it's interesting you know you've got public access to it that's all but obviously the, the way i see it is uh, obviously you fenced off areas that are secure if you wanted this area secure you want to put the fences further forwards does that make sense to you okay um who, who are you sorry yeah, who are you? I'm not prepared to give you my name, sir. Well, then if you're not going to identify, then why would I have to listen to you? I don't know who you are. I don't know that you have any authority to tell me this. Thank you, sir. I'm not going to argue with you. Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just pointing out that, you know, that's like anybody walking up to me and telling me to do something. If they don't have authority to do so... But how do I know that you have that authority if you won't identify who you are? Just your rank and your number. You must have an identification number. No? Okay strange so military personnel won't identify um, so they say the boundary is where these concrete posts are um, he's on the phone now uh, as you can see where he told me to stand but like I said I'm not looking to get arrested uh. <laughs> uh. So they've got a uh, no cycling sign up there, not allowed to cycle on site, or maybe there's uh, certain areas of the site that you're not allowed to cycle on, I don't know. But yeah, it's quite a busy road. 50 mile per hour road. Uh, hopefully we'll get some shots of some vehicles coming in or out and uh, we'll leave it at that, really. Well, unless he calls somebody and somebody actually comes out, you know. But... Uh, 
Oh, the zoom is not fantastic on this phone, unfortunately. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Sorry if that was uh, a bit loud, obviously. Uh, had to shout it because they are quite far away. Um, I'm just going to stop and pick up because I'm going to turn my headphones off quickly. Because I think uh, the volume is probably coming through my headphones, which can be a bit echoey sometimes. So I just realised. See you in a minute. So there we go. My headphones should be off and it should be picking up audio through my phone now. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to cross this road. Um, make sure there's no other signage on this side. And you see I'm sticking to where pedestrians cross. But yeah, so there's no other signage on this side um, saying that, you know, this falls under the Official Secrets Act or the Serious and Organised Crime Act or anything like that. So... Um, As you can see through there, they've got those like square window things there. That's very much like the windows that you see in custody cells at uh, police stations and stuff. So... It's writing something down. Yeah, as I said, uh, there's no bylaws posted, nothing saying that it's uh, part of the Official Secrets Act or Serious and Organised Crime Act, so... Hopefully we'll get some shots of some cool vehicles at some point. So he's literally just writing down what I look like right now. For absolutely no reason. So Got another one come out now. Oh dear. I think I can see more from the other side, to be honest. Uh, trying to tell me not to stand in the road. Just trying to get some pictures there. There you go, that one will make a nice little uh, thumbnail. Yeah, to be honest guys, I really don't think we're going to get much else here. So, uh, PTTP is going to head on, said it's such a lovely day. I don't think we're going to get any military vehicles coming in or out of there. 
So I'm going to take the long walk back to my bike and carry on with my ride. And if I find anything else interesting along the way, I shall stop and have a nosy. As always, like, share and subscribe. And until next time, power to the proletariat. Ta-ra.